Hello, my student texted me a question asking, what is a negative vector? It's from a seventh grader at Basis High School here in Tucson, and she is taking Algebra 2. If you want more information on how you too can text me a message and get a reply back, you can go on to our website, www.dortmath.com. All right, let's get started. The negative vector is really just another way to describe a Cartesian point. What I have here is a point A that in Cartesian coordinates is radical 3 on the x-axis and 1 unit away from the origin. We use the origin as our reference point here. Another common way to express point A is using the R theta format, which is the polar format. Now this nicely works out in that point A is exactly 30 degrees counterclockwise. That's why it's positive and it's two units away from the reference point at the origin. So in our R theta format, we have two units and positive 30 degrees. Now, onto this mysterious negative vector. Negative vector says I can still describe the point A here in that I'm going to go opposite way. I will rotate myself from where I start at x axis. I will go to where the mirror complete opposite image of A is. I'll put an A prime over here. Um, that's my first step. Okay, so I will go minus 150 degrees counterclockwise first. Our first step is get angle to A prime, which is completely mirror image opposite of it. So here we have minus 150 degrees. Okay, step two of the negative vector, it's um, saying instead of staying at here where my rotation of angle is, I need to pass the reference point and then go two units opposite of where I rotate it. So uh, mathematically, we use the negative sign to signify what I just said. You have to go opposite first. Opposite and then you need to pass the reference point of zero, zero, and then you go two units, okay? We'll give you some examples, okay? But that's the gist of the negative vector, okay? Here, let's take a look at a couple uh, examples. Let's start with our easy ones, okay? Three and 30 degrees. So remember the steps are angle, which is really just rotate, okay? Second, you needed to know if you measure distance or you have to go opposite, okay? That will become clear as we go along. So here, let's do the angle first. I said 30 degrees, this is where I start. I need to rotate counterclockwise 30 degrees. This is positive 30 degrees. And then here is a positive three, so I can start measuring from the origin without moving. So here's my point A. Okay. This is three units away from the origin. I don't have to do anything else because it's a positive vector. Now let's try positive vector in that has a negative angle. Following exactly the same step, I will start rotating because now I have to rotate clockwise because I have a negative angle, so it's minus 30 over here. Okay, once I rotate it down here, since this is plus three, I can stop here and then measure three units away from the reference point at zero, zero. Okay, now let's try a easier case. Let's still do the 30 degrees. This time we're gonna do the negative vector of minus three. Let's see what we're going to do over here. So the trick is really at the minus 3 here. We start exactly the same way we started. Uh, here's the x axis. Okay. We're going to rotate counterclockwise because it's positive 30 degrees. Right? Once I'm 
I'm going to dot it here to show that this is my angle. Okay, I'm going to do something along this line. Whether my angle is point is over on this side or on the opposite side, it will completely decide decided by the if it's a negative 3 or not. If it's a negative 3, going back to what we said over here, step 2, if it's a negative step space or negative distance, I can't just measure here to here. I need to go backward along this line and then measure 3 units to get my point A. This is 3 units. Not this one. Okay. So after rotation, if it's a negative, I need to go back to the reference point, keep on going for three units. That's what a negative space, negative vector is. Now let's try a little more complex one. Let's see what if I have a negative three and negative thirty degrees. Okay. Nothing different over here. So remember again, if it's negative three. We can't stop where the rotation stopped. We have to go back, reset ourselves at the reference point zero, zero, then go along the same almost opposite direction. Okay, my other three units, this is where we're going to get our point A. So same thing over here. Now we have a negative space, negative vector. We're started with x-axis. Since it's negative 30, I need to rotate clockwise. It's minus 30 degrees. Okay, let me dot it this line for us. So the question becomes, do I stop here to measure three units or do I go backward to measure three units? And the answer is you go backward, measure three units. This is point A. Okay, this is three units here. So negative vector says, so long as it's negative, do not stop over here. And go backward. Okay, you go backward to find out where the points you want. All right, have a confident day.